You know, with my new gear on and a blow-dried hairdo But in my mind I knew I was still an old boiler We danced all night long to a nice steady beat But my hair went to frizz in the terrible heat My mascara ran and so did my tights Confirming in my sight I must be no boiler. So we came out this club, hot and sweaty. We've been dancing all night. And he says to me, Whoa, babe, what are you doing then? Well, I think I might get a cab. I said casually, Ah, oh, no, no, come back to my place. I only live just round the corner, you can go home in the morning, yeah? <laughs> well, I don't think so. I mean, I've only known you a day, it's a bit soon, isn't it? Give me a ring sometime, yeah? Listen here, girl. I bought that gear you got on. I paid you in here tonight. I bought you all them drinks and you want to go home, I said, with all cocoa. And then he stormed off. Well, I felt a right mug. Well, you would, wouldn't you? So I ran after him, caught him up. There we are, walking down the street about 100 miles per hour, arm in arm. No talking. Atmosphere, you get a cup with a knife. There was no one about. Nothing to take your mind off it, you know. No cars. Not even the occasional stray animal. It was cold and winds whistling through the trees. And blowing newspapers against my legs so I tripped as I tried to keep up with him. And there was all these little alleyways and railway bridges stink of piss then all of a sudden he grabbed hold of my arm and he starts to drag me up one of these alleyways and he starts to hit me really hard across the face you know he was hitting me grabbing at me it was awful because I was so big hitting me wasn't Tearing at my clothes. There was nothing I could do on this. I was helpless. And, and then he tried 